Hello everyone, quick follow up to the previous video, there was a very good comment by EZG which explained to me why I was having to use the values minus 1.6 and 4.7 and as you can see here on the screen if you want to read the entire comment it's very useful, uh, basically the value that this draw angle function was asking for it was radians and not degrees or any other value so Godot has a function which is deg short for degrees to rad which is degrees to rad radians or radians to degrees that you can use to convert it so it would make the entire tutorial easier since instead of doing the 4.7 as maximum and minus 1.6 as minimum you could do 0 and 360 and then convert those to radians but today i'm not gonna be working on updating this example but i'm going to be doing an alternative version of it that was also commented along in the forums so one of the solutions to create another circular progress bar is to use a built-in node which is called here inside control range texture progress so texture progress has a lot of options and one of the options that we can use here is clockwise which will render a texture in a similar way that we were doing in the previous video but to do that you need a texture first so let's go ahead and create one it's going to be a very simple thing just gonna create circle I'm doing this in a vector program so we can export this into any resolution we might like in the future so let me make sure that it's centered and now let's duplicate it make it smaller and now that we have both versions of that let's select both and here subtract selection so we have a ring let's fill it in white let's do the background darker so we see what we're doing okay so this is the pride that we have let's export it set, select the frame export don't show the background and we can export okay so let's call this ring texture now that we have the texture here in Godot, we can add it to the texture progress here we can open and there are three different texture under is going to be the background of it over is going to be over the progress bar and progress is going to be i don't know why they are not in the order that they should be but we want to have the ring texture under it okay and in progress so that way when we are filling it is going to be using this circle and the background is going to be that circle let's now tint it so under can be darker and a bit more transparent to be similar to what we had in the other tutorial and the progress will be green and in green it's okay but we don't see it let's see here we have the fields the mean value max value which is 0 and 100 steps is how many increments are gonna have so if it's 100 of maximum it's gonna be split in 100 steps page is for scroll bars and things like that we're not gonna be using that and value is the one that we want so to try it out first let's set it to 25 okay so we see that it's filling but it's filling from left to right as it is set here if we set it here to clockwise now we see it how we wanted it to be and if we slide this so slightly okay we can keep adding to the value and as you see we get a very similar progress bar as we had it on the previous tutorial and without any line of code only making the textures the main reason why i don't like this texture progress is because you need to have these textures as sprites and right now if you want to change the width we cannot do it we can of course go back to our image editing program make the smaller circle like this so now like the progress will be wider Let's export it again, replace the ring texture sprite and go back to it and now we see that it's updated and it's bigger but you cannot do it from code and if you want to resize it you have to do it from the scale functions here, the scale properties here so 0 0.5, 0 0.5 but the width is not going to be kept the same. So if you make it smaller, it's going to get thinner and thinner and thinner relative to the size of the texture. I think it's a very good thing 
to use. We want to do something like this. And if you know that the size of this progress bar is always going to be the same, you can always create that sprite and don't worry about the width and anything like that. But it is a much simpler and got out solution than the one that we covered last time. So that's it for this small update. It's only a small follow up. And I want to share some of the things that you guys sent me. Tim on Twitter sharing one of the progress bars. Tim used the, the kind of circular approach. I don't know exactly which code he used for doing that, but it looks really, really nice. And you can see it here on this animation. And then Frank was playing around with the draw functions. And as you can see, he's also changing the color of the progress bar as they grow or get smaller. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's it for this video. It's a very, very short update, but I have a lot of things in mind for the next one and it should be coming out pretty soon. Thank you and see you guys next time. Bye.